In today's Daily Dose, a new study is out showing that removing zombie cells from your body could slow down or even reverse major diseases associated with aging. Joining us now is biotechnologist and the author of Harnessing the Nine Hallmarks of Aging, Greg McPherson. Greg, welcome back to Bloom. Good morning. Great to see you. So in getting ready for this uh, interview, I'm like, what in the heck are zombie cells? And I started to look that up, and this is a real thing, also known as aging or deteriorating cells. Yeah, absolutely. There's these things called senescent cells, and they build up as we age. The other name for them is zombie cells, and they act just like zombie cells. They're not good for us. So uh, who's more prone to have zombie cells? Um, people who are perhaps carrying a little extra weight, um, people who are over the age of 50, um, you know, these zombie cells are perfectly normal cells. We have them when we're young, but they just tend to build up as we age and they are inflammatory. They just cause damage in our body. And so really, if we can get rid of them, that's a good thing. Why are they so harmful to our health? They secrete inflammatory molecules, and they do that because they want the immune system to kind of say, you know, that, let them know that they're there and to come and remove them. But as we get older, our body gets overwhelmed, our immune system gets overwhelmed. And so we just have this increasing burden of inflammation. And, and it's just like a regular zombie in that, uh, you know, you get bitten and you become one. Well, um, zombie cells cause the cells around them to become zombie cells and, and so on. So it actually really starts to impact on their health and it's good to get rid of them. You know, I'm curious because we've had a lot of stories here on Bloom about COVID being associated with inflammation, which is something that I heard you just mention. I mean, how does this impact zombie cells? It's such a great question. So we get um, these zombie cells in our immune system, which um, become sort of hyperreactive, so to speak. So um, that's why perhaps people that are slightly older react more severely to COVID is because their immune system is actually primed to actually overreact. And there's been some really interesting study done by a, a researcher who's looked at um, seeing what happens if they remove these zombie cells from mice and then giving the mice um, COVID. And what happened was that when he removed those zombie cells, the mice responded just like a younger mouse and it wasn't so serious. So how do you get rid of these zombie cells? Um, you can do things like run and exercise and um, occasionally be hungry. So miss um, breakfast that stimulates processes in our body to get rid of them. Um, but there's a really interesting molecule called fisetin, which comes from strawberries. Um, you've got to take a whole bunch of strawberries to, uh, to get enough, but if you can take it as a supplement, um, it actually helps the body identify and get rid of those senescent cells. You mentioned, okay, I know in a lot of cases, we just can't get enough of the foods that are good for us for them to get the results that we need. But are there foods that we should be eating that can maybe you know, bring down that inflammation and help us rid the zombie cells? Yeah, absolutely. So that lovely Mediterranean diet that people talk about helps drop inflammation in the body and helps us clear out those zombie cells. Um, there are, you know, olive oil has a really interesting ingredient which um, stimulates autophagy, which is the recycling and repair of uh, cells in our body. So, you know, some strawberries, absolutely, or fisetin, which is the active ingredient. Um, olive oil or something called alluropane, which is the actually active ingredient, which gives you the benefit from olive oil. And then um, chamomile, it uh, has a beautiful little ingredient in it called epigenum. It's a sciencey term, but uh, just uh, is really, really good for you um, and helps boost key enzymes in our bodies, which then are like um, the zombie cells don't like. And we have about a minute left, doctor, but I did want to ask you, you know, a, a lot of folks, especially after the pandemic, are struggling with weight issues. I mean, can getting rid of these zombie cells help with that as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, extra weight, um, zombie cells love it. So, yeah, if you can just get out and exercise as part of that process of removing the amount of senescent cells, you're going to lose a little weight as well. So there's double benefit. Well, Greg, as always, it's great to have you on the show. And what an interesting subject. I've talked about a lot of health news, but never before have I heard about zombie cells. Very, very interesting. It's a pleasure. It's such a fascinating topic. It really is. And to find out more about Greg and the nine hallmarks of aging, all you have to do is head to WFLA.com bloom. And we'll be back with more bloom right after this. So don't go away.